Welcome back to another episode of Cars and Life. So let's see, today we're going to um, put a piston onto a rod. We're going to assemble these two guys together. Um, here's all the materials that you'll need. Basically we have um, a piston uh, with rings um, already assembled on there. I decided to do that first rather than put the rod on the piston and then put the rings on. I don't know, it's just your preference. I don't think it really matters. Uh, we got a piston here with all the rings on. We have a rod. Um, and we have um, two wrist pin clips. We actually have a neat little tool. This is actually from um, a one of those little, you know, those binder things that hold, uh, it's like a big paper clip thing. Um, it actually goes with this guy, uh, which I'll review in a minute. Um, here's your wrist pin. Of course, you want um, assembly loop as well. So, um, so these wrist pins, these particular type, these are the C clip type, and um, they are a chore to get in. I, I tell you, um, uh, what I did decided to do was I tried to, to do this by hand, and I decided to buy this tool here, which is uh, pretty amazing. Um, this is the Molly. Um, clip tool uh, if you just look up molly you know uh c clip or wrist pin tool um you can find it online i think it's like 15 bucks and it surely is all worth the money you first want to insert this tool into one of the ends it doesn't matter which end okay so it's in the groove there and I fold it over like this. On the other side, you want to. This is where you want to insert the um, the wrist pin. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put the wrist pin in. Make sure it's going nice and smoothly. Okay, so I got my wrist pin in. I'm just going to push it in until it hits the little paperclip thing. And here comes the the hard part. Um, so basically what you want to do is put the ring in. So here's the, the top of the piston. And you want to put the ring in right at the top here. So it starts to go inside the groove. Okay, just like this. Um, so you want to take, take this edge, one of the edges of the tool, and just push the ring in. Okay, it's in. There it is. Um, it's not quite in, so I'm going to grab a pair of needle nose pliers. Usually it makes a click when it's fully in, so I can see it's not fully engaged in the groove. So I'm going to go ahead and just push this right here and click, and there it is. So one of the things um, you want to be careful of is if your rod is not symmetric. Some rods you'll actually find have a larger chamfer on one side or the other. Uh, this particular rod um, is symmetric, so it doesn't really matter how I orient the rod. Um, what you're supposed to do is the chamfer, if you have a chamfered rod, um, that chamfer is supposed to go against the, the crankshaft fillet radius uh, just to provide additional clearance. But because this rod is chamfered on both sides, I don't particularly have to worry about that. Okay, so the rod is on, and now we have to insert that nice little clip inside using the same method as before. So I'm going to go ahead and insert um, this clip, rotate it so I can easily use the tool. Got the tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and push it in. I'll try to at least. It hasn't sunk in yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these needle nose pliers just to push it in. And there it is. Uh, so thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me a message. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.